Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So, the car was at its first legitimate car show since the accident with the new rear quarter and everything all in place. Just cleaned it up the best we could. I, it's uh, still got a long ways to go, but exciting to see it back out and about. And, uh, oh man, so many plans, still so much to do. But, like I said, it's back. Always exciting. Wanted to give you that quick little walking around. It is a new day at Bentley's. We're parked over there, and we got the Z32 twin turbo rolling through. Love this car. This thing is so sick. But uh, we're gonna go walk around again and see what's here today. Dude, y'all gotta see this thing is beautiful. It's a four-wheel drive GMC. It's like the old school suburban. It's a oh it's a two-door? That is gorgeous. Oh, we are in for a treat today. We got this old school CUDA. I think it's probably like a 70s if I were to put a number on it. Nice little supercharged uh Hellcat engine up in here. Beautiful little restroom art. I mean, that paint is like glass. Wow. Like a super good attention to detail. Everything's been upgraded. It's got some uh, modern interior to a sense. And oh, wow, this is cool. And I love the stance. It's nice and lower down with the nice clean stripes. And the plate says, subtle. It's old school Mack truck. Yes. I was hoping, I was hoping we would get this. That is cool, man. 1950s Mac. I absolutely could not walk around without grabbing some clips of this gorgeous Porsche 930. It's a 1985. I love this big wide body in the rear from factory. Man, someday, someday. <laughs> it is the turbo model with the beautiful turbo wing. Just always out. This is a, this is a car I would love to uh, someday own in wide body. <laughs> even even further i mean these are gorgeous and uh, reminds me a lot of the blackbird from wagon midnight right over here we have this nice little porsche 914 i like the little orange and white contrast between it it's just a unusual color combo for this but i think it's really really cool i'm liking the flat plate i mean that is just a super low interior the seats sit real low Nice little uh, target top. I'm liking the Porsche emblem in the rear. It's a cool little car to see. Yeah. All right, guys, so we just parked up at Bentley's and we are bringing the jab crap. So I got my 91 Nissan hard body here. We got this beautiful twin turbo 300 ZX Z32 right here. We got Trey pulling in with this DC5 Acura RSX. What's up, what's up? We got Evan rolling in with the Miata. Yo, what's up, Evan 2.0? Flipping customized sons, brother. Now we're gonna walk around. Yes. Yo, guys, we're walking around. There's like literally a fully chrome polished Shelby, and and this just is like insane. All right, we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk up and read it. 1988 Pulse Auto Cycle number 284. It was one of the most desirable years as it was powered by a Honda 1200 cc motor and a five speed. It weighs about a thousand pounds at 85 miles per hour. This goes zero to 16 under seven seconds with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. There's literally two seats in here. That is nasty, dude. This whole machine is cool. Yo, let's go. We got Mike rolling up with the NSX right now. Another really cool clip on the ground. So we have Sean's LS400 and Raimi changed up the banner on the Alpha 4C. He went with a Gran Turismo banner, which is so nasty. Even swapped up the logo on the, on the sides of the car. Oh, dude, check that out. The Boba Hunters Midnight Boba Society sticker from our Boston trip. This is gas. That makes me so excited. Listen to this thing. Woo. Let's do it. Flip them. You better flip them. Let's see it. Don't let us down. Here's our slow. <laughs> this is quite the machine to see over here. We got this old school T bucket with uh, two engines with both dual carbs. Just open headers right out the side. Pretty sweet. Good stretch on it. It is a 1923 T-Bucket, and they're both Chevy 350s. All right, all right, we got it all now. Wow, what a build. Isn't that interesting? Just cool to see. Oh, and check that out. It was on the cover, after I show you some of this pinstriping, of a magazine. Another pretty unique truck over here. We got the 40 Connell line. This one is in 1967, which is pretty cool. This one seems to be pretty, uh, pretty much all original, as far as I know. And uh, yeah, right over here, the engine is set right in the center of you. So it's kind of like a cab over style. Just a really cool truck to see. Basically, uh, it was the Ford Ecoline van. 
and they just kind of chopped the back and made it a truck from factory, which is a pretty sweet concept. Beautiful Camaro, nice little uh, Stingray vent. You can peek the 59 Cadillac taillights in the fenders. Ooh, this is a beautiful color. It's cool to see the Ford and Chevy of their time right next to each other, actually. Oh, nice little third eye brake light. That is perfectly uh, set in there. Some nice interior. Oh, very, very nice interior. Color match dash, man. So this one is a 1953, as I believe the truck next to it is. Uh, it's a 48, actually, sorry. So uh, a couple of years apart, but you know, still got that roundish style. And uh, man, I love this. So this grill is beautiful. Everything is so nicely done in here. Well, the first thing I gotta say is, wow, this is insanely clean. It's a 1977 Ford Bronco with a really cool two-tone that kind of ties in the little fender flares, powered by a 302 as well. Man, this is sweet. All custom, nice interior. You got the 26 one because it's the standard. Looks to be a three-speed, and the other one before the transfer case. Wow, that little Ford emblem integrated in the dash is pretty cool. Dude, this thing is insanely clean. Must be uh, freshly redone, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine. I mean, this is very nice. So I'm going to try to grab a clip of this and another crazy clip, but isn't this something? It's a 41 Ford Super Deluxe Ragtop. That is wild. Some beautiful pinstriping down there. I mean, what a cool little concept. Or it could be factory. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's a big car. Either way, hoodless too. So sick. And uh, let's grab some clips of some tea buckets. I think all tea buckets coming through. Except for this. I don't, I don't know. A lot of them are pretty custom. Lots of cool uh, attributes. Oh my God, look at the blower on this one. So, the size of the wheels too are crazy. Nice, I would assume four link back here, wow. Oh, what is uh, What is this one? It's a 27 T. 27 T bucket, man. It's a track T, a sprint T they call it. Super cool, man. Thank you. Wow, it's got the, uh, um, like plate dish wheels like the uh, the black truck has the american racings all of them are done just in their own unique way which is super super cool that one's kind of got that grave digger style the visor on this hard top wow what a cool like club of cars to see come in with just all very unique styles the louvers in the trunk wow Oh man, so much cool stuff to see. <laughs> Big intake riser on this one. Lots of cool details though. Flames on the chrome valve cover, chrome intake, chrome carburetors. <laughs> so sweet. So it seems they all are T buckets. Oh, this one's on some aluminum mags. Let's go. And each one's got its own suspension design in the front. A lot of them got these, uh, the reverse leaf front sh uh, front shocks and uh this one seems to be coil and shock and our friend zach's corvette featuring some pretty sweet red interior but last one here look at the wheel on this one too i feel like this is uh I, I actually imagine this is a little bit more of a factory thing um and a lot of those have been relocated if i am correct or maybe this one's a little bit older style but Again, just extremely cool to see. So I'm walking around this a little bit more. I just noticed a little like low rider style mini steering wheel. But if this is legit, that would be kind of crazy. It says wheelie scars. Oops, haha. -ha. That is insane. And I was just getting a little bit better look at the suspension down here. I don't know if this would be considered a four link. Uh, I actually am a little curious. It's definitely a rear coilover conversion. He's got two sets of coilovers. It looks to be like he's got like disc brakes at the rear here because the axles are so meaty. It's a very cool thing to check out. It's uh, very, very, very intrigued by this. This is a cool rod. Always like these. We got an old Dodge Power Wagon on that like original style or who knows maybe original wheel and tire setup 
This is another really rowdy car. Beautiful two-tone. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. They're definitely original style, but super cool. I'm actually kind of curious if this came with the uh, factory, especially being so old. So it's a pretty sweet truck over here. Very iconic grill. It's a 1952 Ford uh, F3. So it's actually had, as I was talking to the owner, the frame cut. And the bed is also cut to uh, be more of a shorter style bed. And uh, pretty interesting. So the bed was cut back here. The frame, I'm not too sure where that was cut. But uh, dude, what a sweet truck. Real sporty. Very clean for a patina truck. Like, you know what I mean? Patina trucks have that old, you know, a lot of rust or things like that but this is just like these fender wells are insanely clean I guess it originally came from arizona and uh i was just checking out cool little things like the louvers on the tailgate and uh especially the little display back here with like the milk jugs and these old school uh ford wire wheels and right over here we have this beautiful old 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 ford pickup got the little bed i'm loving the seat in the back though that was like something that grabbed me and uh i don't know it's just cool to walk around believe it would be a model a somewhere around there it is on wire like metal spoked wheels though so it might be a little earlier than the 30s right around there but uh i was checking out this uh this spare wheel and it's got the mirror attached to it which is pretty sweet cool little truck to walk around hey, that's something we got a nice little old uh old Chevy truck i think nice little looper tailgate but uh it's got the bike on the back very custom too with the trailer like that's so nasty